welcome to Boise Public Library's STEM from the Start Storytime. This month, our theme is Earth Sciences and is brought to us by funding from the Idaho STEM Action Center. My name is Renee and I work at the library at Collister. Today, we're gonna explore Earth Sciences by doing a couple of rhymes, reading a book, and learning how to make a bug hotel. Earth Sciences is a really big term that refers to all different kinds of sciences that talk about life on Earth. So it can include things like meteorology, which is the study of weather, or zoology, which is the study of animals, or entomology, which is the study of bugs and insects. And we're gonna talk a lot about bugs and insects today. The first thing we've gotta to do to get started is our welcoming song, which is called We Clap and Sing Hello. So we're gonna clap, we're gonna stomp, and we're gonna wave to do our hello song. You ready? Okay. We clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello, we stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. We wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. Hello, everybody. We're gonna start with our story, which is in the small, small pond, written and illustrated by Denise Fleming and read with permission from Macmillan Publishers. Thank you. Okay, so this is our cover. It says, in the small, small pond, and Denise Fleming, and it's got a picture of a little kid and a lizard and a pond. It also has this little circle on it, which means that this book is a Caldecott honor book. In the small, small pond, wiggle, jiggle, tadpoles wriggle. Tadpoles are little baby frogs. Waddle, wade, geese parade. Here's all our little geese, which are called gosling, following the big goose down into the pond. Hover, shiver, wings quiver. We've got quite a few dragonflies floating over our pond. Drowse, doze, eyes close. We've got quite a few sleepy turtles on the shore of our pond. Lash, lunge, herons, plunge. Oh, that heron stuck its beak right into the pond. And the frog had to leap away quickly. Splitter, splatter, minnows scatter. Oh, there are so many little tiny minnow fish in our pond. Circle, swirl, whirly gig swirl. We've got some little tiny bugs, some little whirly gigs floating in our pond. Sweep, swoop, swallow, scoop. Swallows are coming down to the pond to gobble up some bugs and insects from the pond surface. Click, clack, claws, crack. Ooh, we've got some crustaceans living on our pond. Looks like these are lobsters with big, long claws. Dabble, dip, tails, Flip. We've got some ducks living on our pond too. And ducks like to pop their head down into the water and their bums up into the air to grab food from the pond. Splish, splash, pause, flash. We've got a raccoon dipping its little paws into the pond. It might be getting a snack or it might be cleaning its paws off. Pile, pack, muskrats, stack. Ooh, it looks like our muskrats might be building a habitat for themselves by the pond. 
chill breeze, winter freeze. Winter is coming to our pond. Cold night, sleep tight, small, small pond. Good night, pond. I hope the pond has a nice winter. The end. Next, we're gonna do the rhyme and felt board activity, five green and speckled frogs. This is a fun rhyme to do at home because you can just do it on your hand. You can do your five little frogs and you can make yourself a log if you want to. And you can eat some delicious bugs, yum yum. You can jump your frogs into the pool and count them down one by one. Okay, ready? Five green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs, yum yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckled frogs. Four green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green speckled frogs. Three green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Two green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. One green and speckled frog sitting on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. She jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were no green speckled frogs. The end. I'm going to show you how to make a bug hotel for your garden. Bug hotels attract beneficial insects and bugs like ladybugs and bees and beetles and spiders into our gardens and help balance out some of the yuckier bugs like earwigs and aphids that try to live in our gardens. To make a bug hotel, you're gonna need some kind of container. I'm gonna use a milk jug for mine. A milk carton would be good or a wooden box. You want something that's not going to deteriorate, so fall apart easily something that's pretty sturdy. And if you are going to use a milk gallon or a milk carton, you want to have a grown-up help you cut out a big section of it so that you have a hole to stick things in. Grown-ups, milk cartons are pretty easy to cut. You can use just scissors usually or a box cutter or an X-Acto knife. You probably won't get any sharp edges, but you can lightly run your finger along it to make sure that you don't. And if you do, a little bit of sandpaper so for our bug hotel, we want to include lots of natural materials. So for mine, I've got some rocks. I have a bucket with some gravel in it. I've got some bark shavings and some wood chips. I have some pine needles and twigs and sticks. I've got some blocks of wood. These are especially great if you can drill some holes in them. I've got some little cut off cardboard tubes and I have some pine cones. Other things that work really well are things like bamboo shoots, moss, dried grass clippings are good, even paper bags if you cut them into little strips and roll them up so their tubes work really great. Basically we want to create a lot of little nooks and crannies that our bugs and insects can burrow into because they might want to use the bug hotel when it's chilly out to stay warm or they might need a place to stay while they're gestating, which means getting ready to have little baby bugs and insects. So I'm gonna start filling this up. I think I'm gonna start with some gravel on the bottom just so there's lots of little holes for my bugs to hang out in. of wood and stick a couple 
couple of them in there. So now I've got a layer of gravel and I've got some wood blocks. Next, I'll mix it up by doing some sticks and the big wood chips to take up a little bit more space. And it's okay if you have things sticking out a little bit further than the edge. That's not gonna matter to the bugs. They're not particular. And a lot of this stuff is just things that you can collect around your yard with help from your grown-ups or you might be able to go to the park and pick some fallen sticks up there. You just don't want to take anything like off of the tree that's already living on it, because that's not good. But there's usually lots of things that have fallen that we can use. And it looks like my sticks are a little bit big, so I think what I'm gonna do is stick them straight up instead of across, just so that they fit better. You might kind of have to play with what you have to see what will fit inside here. Okay, I've got a few sticks at the back now. Now I'll add some of my pine needles which might seem sharp and hooky to us, but for bugs, they're a great little place to nest in. Okay, then I'm gonna stick some little cardboard tubies in. I just used an empty paper towel roll that I had and cut off little circles with scissors. The cardboard's actually pretty thick on those, so you probably need a grown-up to help you do that if you want to cut them up. But if you just want to do rolled up paper bag pieces, that's really easy to do. You can just tear them off to make strips. I'm going to use some pine cones. Pine cones are nice and big, so they take up a lot of space in my bug hotel. chips and my bark to fill up some of the gaps. Okay, I'm liking this bug hotel. It's got a lot of nice little entrances where bugs can go in. If you want to, you could even decorate the outside of your bug hotel by painting it or writing bug hotel on it, maybe making some little signs. Just use materials that are non-toxic so you're not potentially going to hurt those bugs and insects. And then go find a good place in your garden for your bug hotel to hang out and wait for its new residents to come live. All right, we can't talk about bugs and insects without talking about their cousins, the arachnids. And our favorite arachnids are spiders. We're going to do the itsy bitsy spider, but we'll use three different sizes of spiders for ours. We'll have an itsy bitsy, we'll have a great big spider, and a teeny tiny spider. Okay, we're going to start with itsy. Can you get it ready? Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Oh no! Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Hooray! Okay, now can you get your great big spider ready? Get your hands all stretched out for all those wiggly legs. The great big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big spider went up the spout again. Yay, great big spider. 
Right, now you need to make the teeniest, tiniest, ittiest, bittiest, littlest spider. Got it ready? Can you see it in there? The teeny tiny spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Oh no! Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the teeny tiny spider climbed up the spout again. Yay, teeny tiny spider. Thank you. We've come to the end of our story time, so the last thing we'll do is sing our goodbye song, which is called Goodbye Friends, and we'll use our sign language for the song. So we'll say goodbye, we'll say friends, we'll say time, we'll say say, and then we'll say goodbye again at the end. All right, are you ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for hanging out with me during this STEM from the Start story time brought to us by the Idaho STEM Action Center. Our last STEM from the Start registration kit will be available in April, starting on the 5th, and the theme will be magnets. Thank you.